Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Sarah and in today's video I'm painting Winnie the Pooh and Piglet using acrylic paint on canvas. And since this is the first time I've done a full painting on canvas, I thought I'd do a video giving you my first impressions and hopefully some useful hints and tips on what I've learnt. So to start off with, all you'll need is some paint brushes. I've chosen some bristly paint brushes, they're not my favourite or my best ones, and some acrylic paint and a palette. You'll also need a canvas if you want to try painting on canvas at home. There are two different types. You can buy the primed canvas or the unprimed canvas. And primed just means it's got a layer of gesso or something similar on the surface of the canvas, which means it's ready to paint on. If it doesn't say, it's probably not primed and you will need to do that yourself. And I usually use something like acrylic white paint or you can use something called gesso as well. And just a layer or two of this over the surface of your canvas will make it ready to start painting on. Another thing I like to do is just to outline in pencil my sketch on my canvas. And you don't have to do this step if you're happy to just go in and paint straight onto the canvas, then by all means do that, but I just like to have a little bit more control. So the next thing I do is to prepare my palette, and the palette I'm using is just this tear off paper palette, which once you've finished with can just be thrown straight away. You don't have to worry about washing out palettes because acrylic paint can be a bit tricky to clean off. So the first thing I do with the acrylic paints is just to put a small amount of paint onto my canvas, onto my palette even. And the reason I start off with a small amount is because acrylic paint can dry quite quickly. And so putting just a small amount down minimizes any waste. And because it dries quite quickly, I usually just do one character or one part of the painting at once. So I'm gonna start off painting Winnie the Pooh. So I choose a couple of different uh, yellowy orangey colors for his body, two different types of red for his shirt, as well as a yellow ochre and a black. So I start to mix up my first colour and I'm just using this palette knife or spatula to do that and this is another tool that I've just recently acquired. It's really cheap but it really makes mixing paints a lot easier, especially acrylics because if you use a paintbrush a lot of the paint can get trapped into the bristles. That'll depend on which sort of brush you're using but I find using a spatula really mixes them nice and evenly and minimises any waste. They're also a lot easier to clean off than a paintbrush. The temptation is with a spatula to mix up quite a large amount though, so do be careful not to overdo it. Try and judge the amount of paint that you're going to need and not to go overboard so you end up wasting a lot. So now I've mixed up my first colour, I'm ready to start applying that paint onto my canvas. So I'm just starting off with a flat bristly brush and the reason I use a bristle brush is because it doesn't pick up as much of the paint and so doesn't get stuck all in the bristles. The disadvantage of this though is that it doesn't keep hold of it as much paint as say like a watercolour brush would if you're doing watercolour. So this is a different technique and it did mean that due to the texture of the canvas and also the paintbrush, I did have to keep going in and picking up more paint. So it was a little bit more time consuming than I thought it would be and actually the texture of the canvas made it quite difficult to apply the paint. So I found it quite hard to get neat edges, smooth lines and it did take a get, of, get a little bit of getting used to even painting on the canvas itself because it was a lot more bouncy than painting on say regular paper or card. So I was a little bit nervous to start with and I wasn't quite sure how much paint to add. I was careful not to add too much paint because I thought that would leave me a little bit out of control and also might cover up the pencil outline I've done underneath, although that wasn't too important. But I soon realised that this wasn't the case. Certainly on the first layer, the pencil outline that I'd done was still visible through the first layer of paint. So 
So the one thing about acrylic paints is that they do dry quite quickly and something that I've since learned that um, can help to maintain the paints from or stop them from drying out is that you can spray them with um, a spray bottle on your palette and that just stops them drying out quite so quickly. And to avoid getting sort of furry lines around the edges, you can either add more paint or even add a little bit of water. But I was careful and a little bit aware that if I added too much water, either the canvas would show through underneath or because these acrylic paints, um, if they're diluted too much, I was thinking that they would then crack on the canvas and they wouldn't bind the canvas so well and maybe peel off later on. So I think working on canvas I've learned that it is quite a good balance to get the right amount of paint on your brush as well as a little bit of water perhaps. Having a little bit of water added to your acrylic paint might help ease the flow or as I say you can just add more paint but that's something that you can only learn through practice and trial and error. So what my process was was basically to get down my first layer of paint and then whilst this was still a little bit wet um, I then went in and started adding some layering so layering is a really good way to um, blend the different colors together and to add a bit of dimension to your painting so to start with I added a little bit of um, a darker color underneath the underside of Pooh's neck and then I went in and added some lighter tones to the top of his head and kind of going back and forwards between the lighter tones and the darker tones and using this sort of stumbling scumbling <laughs> way to sort of push the paint together and blend it and this did seem to work quite well And the good thing about acrylic paints is that if you make a mistake you can just go over it. Obviously I'd limited myself a little bit because I hadn't done a background so if I made a splodge or went over the lines then I would need to then cover that up with a background but that didn't happen this time anyway. So I would say don't be afraid to make mistakes because you can always paint over it and at the end of the day mistakes are an important way to learn. It's all very well reading things in a textbook or watching someone else do it but actually having a go is the best way to learn how these paints work, how they feel and how the texture of the canvas can change the way you need to paint sometimes. So it was all quite new for me and a little bit uncomfortable if I'm being honest to start with but as the painting progressed, I felt a little bit more confident in the paint application and also layering over as well. I did change brushes a couple of times, so I started off with a flat brush and then for the details and round the sort of the smaller areas, I did go and use a smaller round brush. And the canvas I was using was quite a rough texture and I since learned that the canvases can come in different textures as well. So maybe that's something to look at when you're buying them. I've never really thought I always used to think a canvas was a canvas but they do come in different textures so this was a particularly rough texture one. You can get smoother ones but then I think you're looking at perhaps um, more money for those. So it's good to have a try on something that's reasonably priced to start with, just to get the feel of working on a different texture. So by the time I got to doing uh, Winnie the Pooh's red shirt, I was using a little bit more paint on my paintbrush, and I was a little bit more familiar with how the paint laid down, and I had a bit more control. So when we get on to Piglet, I use the same techniques. I laid down a main colour and then 
whilst it was still damp I went in and added some lighter areas and mixed those up with darker areas, layering them on top of each other until I got the desired result. So I think the main thing I've learned is that if you don't have enough paint on your paintbrush it won't flow so easily and if you add too much water then the paint won't stick to the canvas so it is getting a balance between the two and trying out by making mistakes. But on the whole I was really pleased with how it turned out, there were things I could have done to improve and that I can take forward for the next time I paint on canvas. Towards the end I also put some light glazes on Piglet and that was just a watered down white acrylic paint and that helped to do his stripy tummy. Now for Pooh's eyes and Piglet's eyes, I did chicken out and do a fine liner for those because I didn't have a small enough paintbrush to get in those really fine lines for the eyebrows and the eyes. But on the whole it worked out okay. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did like it then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, a comment and subscribe to my channel and here's a few more videos you might like to check out before I see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye!